What's going on guys? Jacob Reed back with another video and today we get another review. And it is on ten cars. We will be reviewing all seven of uh, plate four, and we will be also reviewing the three I got from plate five today. So let me go ahead and get all these cars open. Well, those are open when these aren't, so we'll go from them looking like this. Two looking like this. So, yes, I'm playing SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 in the background. Um, I'm just listening to the entrances first. So, first up is Casey Kane's Great Clips. Uh, this is one of the two exclusives from the Wave. I wish they would have gone with Liftmaster over this. This is just. Uh, I mean, it's Great Club's final year with them, but, uh, I, yeah. I just really can't. I just don't know. Um, basically, this is 2016 without the windshield or the Spring Cup Series logo. Yeah, this card's a bit bland. Uh, here's the magnet that comes with it. Me. Uh, if I had to give this car an overall rating, I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's, when a car is like this, I know can screw up on it, and I've seen, like, a few errors on this, so. Whatever. Next up is Danica Patrick's Hack Act. Um, here's the little magnet. Um, jeez. So here's the car. Uh, it's just... The thing that Stordos did with all their cars from last year to this year is they're just all the same paint scheme, just with, um, Ford bodies. So, I did not have to get last year's. <coughs> um, he's got the nice silver and um, orange. I mean, you got Nature's Bakery on the car, which... I think they ran one race with her, and their deal with Stardust Racing's over. And it's not bad, but I definitely like 2015 a lot better than this. Overall, I'd give it a seven and a half. Next up is Ricky Stenhouse's Fast and All Car, her 50th year, or 50 years, whatever. Sorry. Here's the wheel magnet. Probably my favorite out of the four. Besides, um, um, Kevin's. Alright. This car is really cool. I wasn't a fan of it at first, but now that I got it in person, it's really good. Um, I do like that they did get the new little spoiler. I think it's small. We'll probably be seeing that with, um, Cars and Wave 6. Ah, uh, yes, the game. Um, overall, my rating of this car is probably a 9. Really neat scheme. Probably my favorite out of these three. Next up is Ryan Blaney's 2017. Here's the little magnet that comes with it. Not the best choice. I probably would have went with this over that. But, eh, it is what it is. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show it. Alright, so, this is, ba this is last year's car. There's no windshield and no Cup Series logo, or no Sprint Cup logo. Um, still a ne still a neat, neat scheme. I still like the blue car better than this, but, and overall I'd give this a 8 out of 10. Here's the little magnet that comes with its Chase Elliott's Kelly Blue Book car. And here's the car itself.
All right, really nice car. I do like both this year's and last year's, but I do like this year's better than last year's. I am a fan of Chase Elliott. I uh, just, I just wish that Lando would put some quality in their their cars for once. Oh wait, they forgot how to do that a long time ago. Sorry, I just get fed up with quality from these companies who don't care. Oh, um, I need to pause that. Um, yeah, my overall rating of this will probably be the same as Stan House, a nine out of ten. Um. Sorry, it's just freaking people acting like themselves, stupid idiots. Uh, here's the one magnet that comes with the Kevin Harvick car. The exclusive Kevin Harvick car. Now, this did get pulled before Textron Off-Road did, but I would prefer the Textron Off-Road car over this. Because I saw a Textron at, um, Atlanta. Um, basically this is just the Elliott Sadler car, just on a Ford and with the, um, with the 41. It's a not bad scheme, but I'm not a fan of pizza at all, so. Ah, so the night scheme, I've still got to get Elliott Sadler's, but overall I give that an 8.5 out of 10. And finally, probably my least favorite car out of this is Wave. No, it's not because I'm salty. It's because these cars are so stupid. Um, here's a little car that comes with it. These are so stupid. This is just a Cobalt car, except for change on whatever that is. The Chase stuff, and that stupid Champion logo at the top. I'm honestly going to get this into a custom because... I'm actually going to do that with the championship car over there and just get the Homestead win. And have that over there. This car is this this car is the worst out of wave 4 probably just a waste of time. There's no sense in doing both sponsors. I mean, I get he ran this in the chase, but whatever. But this is just a waste. Overall, my rating is a 1 out of 10, because this car is nothing but a waste. I'm sorry, but the people who do these waves just make stupid decisions sometimes. Honestly. Like for wave 5. Let's see. We got that in wave 9. And two rookie of the year cars. We already got that car once, and we haven't got that car yet. Oops, they're not going to have name banners. Idiots. Universe is a good choice, but I wish I'd found that today, but <sighs> sorry about my would have ran on the forty eights, just all I know is got to get the crap together. Here's the little magnet that comes with the three uh triple A car. I'll go over there with the other four. Here's the car itself. Alright, I have to say this is a really nice scheme. I'm not going to take anything away from it. It looks really nice. I wish last year's would have been made. Or did they even offer it? I don't know. But I wish last year's would have been made. Because this year's is really good, but... It's just a quality line out puts in this year's just pathetic. I mean, just look at that. Really? I mean, you look at the A and AAA. Uh, it's... Yeah. Wait, hold on. Does this have the same... What the heck? Um... Okay, this has a small spoiler. I'm a bit surprised about that because that came out the same time as, like, Danica... And Ryan... Bl no, it was before Ryan Blaney came out, but... I'm just a bit confused with that, but... Uh, still cool. Overall, my rating is a 9 out of 10. Um, here's a little pick cap that comes with Quint Boyer's car. It's a nice car. It's a 
when have, but here's the scheme. Alright, sorry about that. Um, here's the rest of the car. This is not a bad scheme. I mean, the Momo 1 cars this year are not bad. But, <clears throat> I like the other years, like, especially last year's. Last year's was really good. Um, as again, you can see the clear freaking paint chips. Wow. Because I was trying to get that off, now we even caused a bigger one. Wow. Get the quality of these cars this year, honestly. Um, I'll give this car the same rating as I have. Chase Elliott's and um, Ricky Stenhouse and Austin Dillon's. Actually, nah, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. 8 and a half. And the last car we're going to be reviewing is Jimmy Johnson's Cobalt. There's a little hat. It's basically Quint Boris, just with Cobalt and the 48 on it. This is done in a nice matte black finish. Hey, hold it up. That's screwed up, why now? Yet you do the rear spoilers for them, but not for Jimmy. Screwed up. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not a fan of Johnson, and I'm not a fan of his schemes for this year. Cobalt can do good schemes, but I'm not a fan of the way they did the 48 scheme this year. I'm not a fan of the five cars. I'm not a fan of the 88 scheme either this year. So, and I'd give this a seven and a half at the highest. I'm just not a fan of the 48 schemes this year. I'm just not. Um, other cars missing from the wave that I will get eventually. Um, Eric Jones is Rookie of the Year. Chase Elliott's Sun Energy 1. Casey King's Universe. And Chase Elliott's Rookie of the Year. Probably, if I do buy both of those online, I might just turn them into customs. If I get the authentic version and just keep the... Um, uh, card that comes with it, but anyways This is all the cars we've reviewed Jesus phone camera is awful um, Then We've got geez, Those and then we've got this and then we've got the three pick caps which were the Mobile One car, the Kelly Blue Book, and the Cobalt. All these cars were not that bad. It's just this one I was really aggravated about. I mean, it's just a waste. You already did the freaking regular one, so why would you need to do that one? Mm. Ah, whatever. That's a different story for a different day, but... Um, before we go, I'll do a quick little comparison. Alright, so here is all my 2017 collection so far. Um, it's small. I, under I do understand that, but um, there's still a bunch of cars yet to come out for this year. And I will be getting a bunch more. Um, I'll have a Jay McMurray in my collection soon. Uh, Trevor Bain, I was going to get that 6. Um, Liberty Y for whatever it is. But it's on the PTC mode, and I was aggravated at that, so I'll probably only get that as a custom. Uh, Toyotas are coming out soon, if they're not already. China one's coming out. Um, this is a crap load of schemes I'm going to get over the year. I mean, it's just you guys stay tuned, stay tuned to my channel. If you'd like to see any more of my reviews, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please hit it with a like, comment, and subscribe for more. See y'all later.